was really nice and next stop Rien. See you there. We've actually stopped a few minutes short of Rien and we have decided to do a hike. Uh, we can't even park at the hiking real trailhead proper car park because it's completely full but we found this one and it just adds like a kilometre onto your hike uh, but we're going to do quite a big one quite a big one yeah we saw it's called Rainer Bringen and it looks beautiful at the top apparently people, everyone in the comments of the hike saying it's better than it looks and photos and it's a perfect day for it we've yeah. got our shorts on even yeah shorts we put on, on our Arctic. Arctic Explorer outfit we are ready for some uh, hiking apparently it's quite an easy trail in that it's nearly all Sherpa steps so we're going to go test it out it's one of the most popular hikes in Norway apparently <laughs> So it is really sunny and warm, but there is quite a cold breeze. Um, I'm sure at the top it'll be pretty chilly. I've already had to put my fleece on, but apparently this hike is really steep, so we should keep warm. So we've just got our first glimpse of the Rhine bringing staircase, and it's going up so high. Now we reach the bottom of the steps. Apparently there's over 1,600 of these. Let's see at the top. Bye, Tom. Just fell up the stairs, dented my bottle up, but at least it didn't fall on my face. So we know there are about 1,600 steps and we're on step number 800 because they're numbered. So that's about halfway. and we need a water break. Oh, they put nice little slabs on some of the corners so you can have a little rest and get out of people's way. And actually we were quite worried because it said it's gonna be really crowded if you go late in the day, but actually it's not. It's a really nice level of busyness. It's, it's lovely saying hi to everyone. And also the steps are wide enough that you can have like one side going down, one side going up. But it's already worth it. The views are so good. This is the perfect activity we wanted to do today because we, we love hikes, as you know, but we didn't really want to take a massive seven to eight hour hike because it just takes up the whole day. And as fun as that is, it's a shame because we haven't got that many days on the Foten Islands. It would be a shame to waste like the entire eight hours just walking. So this is perfect. So we get a good view and we also get to do other things as well. And I think it shouldn't take us more than two hours. Oh. Some lovely people just told me that it's only five minutes walk up to the next view and then it's five minutes more to the next view. So final push. I'm gonna and my last reserves out in my legs and my bum and I'm pushing, 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 pushing. Tom's got stitch. My heart's racing out of my chest, but I love it. We're on top of the world. We've come up to the first viewpoint, which apparently is about five minutes from the top, and it is glorious. Yeah, it's There's not no that wind, up here. and it's still really sunny, um, and the views are incredible. You can see down, and the water is crystal clear, and the town is like spread over these little islands. It's beautiful, and the mountains are just mental. <laughs> Definitely recommend it. It takes about an hour to get up here. Steep climb, but well worth it at the top. The pictures don't even do it justice. Rhine bringing. I say this on most likes we do, but I really do recommend it. It's really enjoyable. It's not too long, so it doesn't take up most of your day. It's a two hour round trip. We decided to run the last bit. And there's flags to greet us at the end. Woohoo! We made it! Rhine bringing. 
company's head. You got the keys, yeah? Get them out. Straight face. <laughs> <laughs> really kept a good straight face there. Try that joke every time. Yeah. I got them really. So we've just pulled over to admire the beautiful village of Reina. And this is what we were actually looking down on from the top of the Reinebringen hike. Uh, if you want to go and visit the village itself, it can be quite difficult to find parking, particularly because a lot of the parking in town is actually paid for and they only accept either cash or VIPs. And as a non-Norwegian, it's quite hard to make a VIPs account. So bring some cash with you if you want to go mm. and visit it. This island is insane. <laughs> we drive like two minutes, right, we've got to stop, fly the train. Right, we've got to stop. And we've been like driving over mountains and the crystal clear water, and we've just stopped because we've seen the most beautiful beach yeah, I've ever so seen. Nice. It's insane. It looks like it's in uh, the Bahamas or something. But then it's got the backdrop of these mountains. Yeah. When the sun is out in the photon, you are in for a treat. This is incredible. We've just pulled up at Lofoten Beach Camp. We recommended this campsite by one of our subscribers. Thank you. And it looks stunning. We looked at the website, it looks great. We actually we don't we haven't actually stayed at the campsite this entire trip since we left the UK but we would really like a hot shower and we would like to do some laundry. So this is the ideal time to do it. Bye. So we're all done. That was in total 410 kroner. Um, so we had to pay 290 for the van, um, 40 for washing machine, 40 for dryer and 20 each for a shower, a six minute long shower. So we arrived at just quarter to six and we've got a space, no problem. We're here in mid-June, but we did read online that they recommend you coming before six to try and get a space because you can't book, which I like actually. I like places that are set up for spontaneous, no planners like us. Right, I am off to do some laundry. This is my washing room. It's a really nice evening, but I wouldn't say it's like hot. It's quite a cool breeze, um, but the beach is just so beautiful. I think we have to go for a swim. It don't get deep very quick, but it's crystal clear. Oh. It is true, you never ever regret a dip. Oh, look pretty rough. Um, so we, post dip, I am making us some rice veggies to go in a wrap and we're gonna eat outside because it's such a nice day. Time stops making proper sense up here in the Arctic. I mean, it's quarter past eight. I don't know if you can see that. Welcome to 
Isabel's Beach Cafe. Serving up tonight, we got yourself some stir fried vegetables. We got some broccoli, carrots, onions, and garlic in a nice little fajita seasoning mix. Then we got some boiled rice, a lot of rice. This is going to be tomorrow's lunch too. To finish it off, we got a little wrap to bung it all together in. I know Tom loves a wrap. I do love wrap. I'll eat anything in a wrap. Because the weather is turning tomorrow, we are, we've decided that tonight is the night we see the midnight sun. So we're walking down to the beach and it's actually already 11.30. <laughs> I didn't know that. Absolutely I've been, crazy. I've been doing the washing, I've been doing my laundry and I've been oblivious walking around the campsite with my music on. Everyone on the campsite is awake. It's yeah, everyone's just like, awake. It's like a midday, like everyone's out, just out of their tent, out of their van. Even the kids are around. Guys, I feel really like grateful for such a special day we've had. Um, it's been so, so special, but I, I feel like it's also a little bit surreal because we're quite sleep deprived. We can't quite believe what we've done today. We've got the ferry over, we did that big hike. It's so beautiful here. This weird little island out in the middle of the ocean, up above the Arctic Circle, where people just live on cod. Such a bizarre place, like another world. Because it's like a little island, it's so unique. It's a craggy island, and it's. You just feel. You're like, yeah, you feel like you're on another planet. So I've just checked online and um, apparently the sun will set today, uh, but not until one o'clock. And then I think it rises again at about 1.40. So it's literally just gonna touch the horizon and bounce back up again. We're going back to the van to have a hot chockey. Read the weather wrong. So I read it wrong. I googled Sunset Lofoten and it said 20 to 1, but I didn't realise it said 20 to 1 on the 21st of July. <laughs> so the sun actually sets in over a month. So we would have been waiting here for a whole month. We were waiting, we were watching, like, I don't think it's gone down much. Yeah, so, so we yeah, think we're going to go to bed. I think we'll go to bed because yeah. uh, it's yeah, not going down anymore. But it's really cool to be out here at this time and experience it. And everyone else is out too, so it's a really, really nice atmosphere. Blessed by the trolls, baby. <laughs> <laughs> 